But yeah, no, I mean, like, when I, when I get to the end of the session and people are telling me, oh yeah, the game was good, this was what I liked, this was what I liked, uh, I'm always, I don't know, I don't want to say mystified, but, but surprised. I am, I am honestly surprised every time. Um, and that's not to say that I don't know that I can put on a good game. It's that, for me, it literally feels like we're just going through the motions. I could level up next Nice. But everybody's, every, I don't know. Like, everybody's tired around the table, yawning, not really Did engaged. you know that yawning is not caused from being tired? It's caused your brain's trying to cool down? Yeah. So when, every, when everybody's sitting here yawning, it's fucking hot in here, man, and our brains are trying to cool down. Oh, I get that. I get so that. I don't think it's, I don't but think it's tired. But tonight, it was, it was not warm tonight. It was earlier, but then it got cold to the point Celeste put a sweater on, right? Yeah, at the end, it did. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'm reading into it, but it seemed like people were disinterested uh, to me. But, and again, at the end of the night, everyone's like, oh, I like the combat, I like this. Like, yeah, no, I thought it was good tonight. It was a little bit of a slow start, but that, that's not a big deal. No, lots of, never, lots of, even, even in my D&D, there's slow starts. Everybody's kind of visiting, it's a little bit sluggish, and, and then everybody gets into it, right? Yeah, I'm not ranking the session based on the start. I'm ranking my session based on how I felt it went. And I, know, I think everybody kept themselves busy. It kept us busy. You know, if people are sitting around and not role-playing and doing anything, that's their choice. You know, you gotta, you gotta step up and just start investigating shit, doing shit, and declaring you're doing things if you want to have fun. You know what I mean? You're right. I would, I wouldn't dare to say. You know, I absolutely agree with that. Um, at the same time, I look at why people might not be engaged. Yeah. And the question being, like, why is somebody not throwing that on the on the moment? You know, if this moment is passing by and that person's looking like this, that alarms me. If the player is, while I'm doing the blah, 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 I'm like, you know, this person can go, or that person can go, or whoever can go, because that person might be like, like, that person's not engaged, why not, like, what happened, where did I go wrong, or is it me, is it them, who is it, how'd you like the lighting tonight? The lighting was good. Even on my on the screen, it looked good. I wrapped it. Oh yeah, I noticed that. I was so I just now it's it. very focused there. These are spotlights now. I swapped these out for spotlights and swapped that. Oh, you did swapped too, it didn't on, you? Put on that. Yeah. The lighting was good. Different, eh? Yeah. A little bit different. But for the fans, like I said, next week if it's too hot, I'll bring the other one. I don't know. Like we have the third one that sits there and blasts across there. And then you have it's just one. really good to have one down here because it, it take, there's cold. Like when that one fan was down here, oh, it was blasting cold air. Like you know what? Maybe, maybe that's my foolishness. There's putting the. I was there. thinking. I didn't want to. I didn't say anything, but I I, I was going to say that there's a big pile there, so it doesn't really work. But the lower down you put them in, to have them blowing up. The cooler the air is. And if you have one here blowing up, and then that one in that corner blowing up, it would blow the hot, the cooler upwards, right? Instead of hot air down. Oh, sure. But you know what? To be honest, I thought, like like I said, with the way you got it set up right now, it, it wasn't bad. It started cooling down really good. It worked uh, well. I um, noticed an instant And I think that it is good. Like, like, and I said, if it's Like, I know these two make a huge difference in here. They, they just do. They do, they do. Having a third one here, just bolt that one up. Upside down. Zap strap. Mm -hmm. You can drill some bolts into it if you want, the base. If they have another one of these, I'll grab another. 15 bucks and it has uh, the holes in the bottom. Oh, it already has them, so you just yeah. zap strap them right to the... No, no, like, it hooks on. Oh, I was going to say, you can just zap strap them right to this. Oh, yeah. Hanging right here. But you might want to put it there. Well, I, I did want to put it there just for the fact that it's out of the way. And then I can put this one down there on the floor. And this place will pop another breaker again. Well, if it does, we know you have too many fans. Going. Fans use, these little fans use fuck all average, but you like two oh, yeah, yeah. One or two I got to return those cans is the funny part to me. I can't believe I grabbed the wrong one. 
Yeah, like I said, those would have worked great if you were going to put like cauldrons of things burning. That would be neat. That would be neat. Burning. I have to admit. You just uh, got to shove that 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 cotton back. No, I got to get a torch if I want to light that stuff. I got to take it back. Take it back and be like, I grabbed the wrong stuff. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm talking about the one that you dumped out. Oh, they came in a two pack. Oh, did they? Yeah. yeah. So they're just both giving a pack. Whatever. Yeah. The entire won't care. Yeah. Just because they have to manufacture, manufacture yeah. stuff in the rag in there. I think cost probably how many, how many cents to that? Yeah. Like, really? Somebody's, Somebody's wages were that. It's fun. <laughs> okay, dude. Thanks, Friday. Same dandy time. Same dandy place. How are your games going? Good. We're just doing it once a week right now. Yeah, you're, you're down, down to once a week there. I was going to offer you if you wanted to join in on the game. Yeah. I think I did before. Jonah, uh, I played a couple sessions in uh, Colin's game online. I don't know, maybe it would be different if it was live, but... Joe, I... I just... I'm so bored playing. I'm that way too, like when I... When I like sometimes my buddy Adam will game a campaign, and it doesn't take long for me to get bored of it. Well, yeah? Yeah. You're, um, you're way better at game than he is. Fair enough. Uh, but, and my buddy, remember my buddy that, buddy that I was telling you that he reminded me of? Well, it's his brother. Oh, that's, that's funny. funny. Adam's brother. And he can't role play either. He has to be the DM. He can't, and he gets bored so fast when he role plays, so he does the player character. It can be like a session. He likes to be the DM. And then, I don't know, like, it depends actually on, on I guess, the group. Um, I don't know, maybe that's what it is. Because I know that there have been. There have been not the, the the odd times. I don't know. This uh, this last this last group that I played, I just I was I was bored as a player. I don't want to speak ill of anybody's groups, you know. It's kind of thing. I was just I was bored as a player. I know there's been sessions where I've enjoyed it. Um, maybe it's the world, maybe it's the character, maybe it's the DM. I don't know. Well, when you like to create, it's hard to be the player. And that's the other thing, right? Like I don't want I don't want to generalize it though. I don't want to generalize it as an ego thing to be like oh, I'm so bored of being a thing. I enjoy being a player. I do. Like it's, it's not like I don't. Uh, I keep repeating the same thing. My point ultimately is that it's it's a lot of different variables that go into making a good game. Like you say, like I'm a better DM than right, and that's like what makes that person a better DM. Like, and then there's your taste versus what a person like a DM's taste versus the player's taste and what they bring to the table. And blah, 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 blah. good thing about being a player character is you start learning what the players want. You start, you start seeing, it. and like that's what I've been like. I think it's great that I'm playing with you because I'm incorporating now what I know. Because when you're DMing, it's a completely different world. So you're, you're not you're not doing the things that necessarily that the players want. And like so, when I play the player character, I see when I'm playing for you. Right. I see where my flaws are. Even like right. I'll be like, okay, okay, this is what's going on, and I'm like, oh, well, I'll do the same thing that you do. I'm a lot like you in, in, in a DM. I love role playing. Right. I can do a whole night of role playing as long as my players are cool with it, right? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I've had them tell me, like, you know, a couple times, like, well, you know, we didn't even kill anything tonight. It's like it was heavy role Isn't playing. Isn't that annoying? Heavy, heavy role playing. Oh, um, sorry. But, you know, and so then I, I've been, because of playing with you, I make sure that I get those fights in now. Whether, I don't care how I get them in. If they're in a fucking city, something's fucking happening. If, yeah. if it's, it's getting to a dead zone, like, We've been in the city where we've been, it's been an hour since we've done Someone's it. Someone's going to get an argument. Someone's going to Something's happening. Yeah. I'll just make it so that a demon fucking comes to the city and starts attacking people. <laughs> like, I will do shit like that. You know what I mean? Paul Harmon quest. But I know, I, 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 I yeah, Paul Harmon quest. But I always link the reason for it. You know what I mean? I, th- there was this one time, like, this is the perfect example. They were, it was heavy role playing going on. They were in their keep. They captured this wizard guy. It was just heavy, heavy role playing. And it had been about an hour and a half, two hours of role playing. Right. And I'm like, okay, well, they're not, they're still doing all this shit in the keep, so I just had it so that fucking, the people that wanted to get the wizard out summoned the Tanari right in the center of their keep. What? And <laughs> while they're fucking smashing this Tanari down, they, they freed the wizard. Oh my that God. had been captured. And everybody was okay with that? Oh, they, well, they smashed the Tanari out and realized that the wizard had escaped and that the Tanari was a diversion. <laughs> and yeah, so. See, if I do, if I do, um, if I do tricks, like if my NPCs trick the players by just doing this instead of that, 
everyone's like, oh, that was meta, or oh, fucking making shit up, or oh, blah, blah, blah. Like, everyone just... Making like, shit up? You're the fucking DM. Yeah, obviously. It's part obviously. of your job. <laughs> well, no, but that's the funny part about saying that, too, right? It's like, you don't say I'm making shit up. Like, fucking, I can make this guy, whatever. And, and it doesn't matter. Uh, the bottom line is, like, the DM's not supposed to just make shit up. You're supposed to follow the rules to create, right? You're not just making shit up. There's a system... You're supposed to follow it to create, and that's what I do. Like, I beg, borrow, and steal from different creatures to accomplish a thing, um, and I'm constantly learning about the balance of things in the game. Like, I pulled a punch tonight on the basis that, well, the giant would have an ego about it, right? Like, oh, I'm gonna fuck this ki- this bird up, and so he didn't hit him a second time, right? As a result, he died before he could take anybody out because he missed both hits the next round around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I refrained from hitting him twice that first turn. So anyway, the point is it's not like, oh, I lost because. No, the point is is that, um, well, number one, sometimes it's okay to pull a punch. Sometimes it's okay. For role-playing sake, even if the players don't catch it, even if the players don't get it, uh, I mentioned it. It escaped everyone. That's fine. Like, it's okay. Uh, was the uh, was his character already down? No, but I could have taken him out with a second hit. Uh, if I'd rolled it, it would have been a hit. I probably would have just taken him down. And then, and that's where uh, I like characters that have multi hit, so that I can hit more than one player and just weaken two people. And then slowly, like, stress everybody out. Uh, those are the best combats. Where you don't have to kill people. You just stress them out. And they're like, oh, this was really intense. Like, I could have killed anybody, right? And, oh, I they feel like I could have died at any moment, right? And that's the truth, right? You could have. But I was literally just splitting everything. Making sure that every time I was attacking, I was in a position where I was hitting two guys. This also puts the creature in a position where players have advantage. So they're like, oh, bad tactics, or oh, we're so lucky. It depends on the player in question, right? Like, Joe's the kind of person who'll be like, oh, these creatures are dumb. But at the same time, other players are like, oh, hey, we're in such a fortunate position. Say yeah. lovey. You know, at the end of the day, you're literally making it easier so that you can throw bigger creatures at people and it's more dramatic. And I, I do this because... Well, even if you would hit him and put him down, he wouldn't kill him. He'd get the three death saves, right? Oh, absolutely. You're yeah, absolutely so right. You're he absolutely right. Fine. He did fine. But... Got a heal and... Do you want to know why I don't? Hmm. Two reasons. Mike has spent more time dead than anybody else. Has gone through more characters than anybody else. Uh, secondly is I don't want to take any player arbitrarily out of the session. Um, specifically speaking, I don't want to give... I don't want to downtime Mike. I don't want to downtime him for no good reason. He has already downtimed lots in this game. Um, there's other people who need to be downtimed, <laughs> so to speak. Like That's, you've Mike Mike is the Ed in my campaign. My, he guy, just Ed he just, throws himself into this situation, he does. Exactly. You know. That's what Ed does. He'll go to uh, combat, you know, I'll be beating on him with a giant, and then I'll hit him for like ten points of damage, he's like, I'm dead. I'm like, What do you mean you're dead? Like after I've been beating on him for a yeah. while. I'm like, What do you mean you're dead? I just hit, only hit you for ten points. He's like, Well, I had six. I'm like, Well, why are you still standing there? Why he's still standing there? Oh, well, because well, well, he doesn't play the character with fear, right? No. So then therefore and I kill him. I'll fucking double tap. Boom, every time. Oh, man, I kill him <laughs> all the time, and I tell him all the time. He'll be like, with a robe. Oh, wow. You know what I mean? And it's like, what are you doing there? And he's like, whoa. I'm like, no, well, you're dead now. Get the fuck away from Yeah, you're dead. This is my other character, dead. Adam. He plays defensively all the time. Some players are ridiculous. Half the, half the points back, you know, you know what I mean? And, and well, okay, there's bullshit. that. But then there's, uh, then there's Greg, actually, is the most hysterical at times. Where he's super cautious because there's no save, right? No save in this game. So, like, every step that he wants to take is just this epic montage of dice rolls to make sure that every five feet is safe, you know? So, 
oh, what can I say? There's there's so many different players that way, right? And and Greg.